Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I wanted to talk about the old school RuneScape penny stocks. Now this is just a name I have assigned them. I don't really think these items really reflect what actual penny stocks would be in real life. However, that is just what I am going to be calling them. To me, a penny stock in RuneScape is an item that costs less than 10 GP. On top of that, the item will have a fair bit of volume to it, and it will still be a desirable item. Often, they will be obtained by accident as a result of it training a skill or combat. A really good example of items that I would consider to be penny stocks are low-level seeds. For example, barley seeds, yanillion seeds, cactus seeds, crandorian seeds. Pretty much anything that you can thieve from a master farmer that is cheap, I would consider to be a penny stock. These items are still needed, especially for low-level ironmen. However, they end up being extremely cheap because a ton of them are coming into the game from master farmers. So like I mentioned earlier, uh, penny stocks in old school RuneScape really are not the same as penny stocks in real life. When most people think penny stocks, most people will think of an extremely volatile marketplace. While the stocks may only be pennies, you do still have the chance of losing pretty much everything at any moment. However, this is not really the case for old school RuneScape. Penny stocks in old school RuneScape are actually pretty low risk. The first reason for this is you can't actually spend much money on them quickly because they are gated by the buying limit. So there's only so many that you can accumulate at once. And secondly, the price of an item can never drop below 1 GP on the Grand Exchange. Now, that's not to say that you couldn't get stuck with some items that will never sell for 1 GP. However, the risk is still inherently way lower than in real life. Also, you're just flipping a fake digital currency, so who cares? So why should you flip penny stocks? What are the positives and what are the negatives? Well, one of the largest benefits of flipping penny stocks is it really does not require much money to get a huge potential return. For example, if you're buying an item for 2 GP each and you buy 10,000 of that, and you manage to sell it for 10, 20, or even 30 times your initial buy price, you could make a ton of money even with an extremely low cash stack. Another positive is, like I said, very little risk. You're not going to be really losing much money even if this goes completely awry. Now, the two main drawbacks to flipping penny stocks is one, it can take quite a while to buy these items, so you have to be extremely patient. Two, it's going to use up a lot of your offer slots, and it's going to be very challenging to find penny stocks in free-to-play, so you will need membership, so it's going to be very hard to justify uh, creating a brand new account with membership just to flip penny stocks, because you could be waiting two or three weeks before you even sell your items back, which at that point would not really be worth it in most scenarios. Okay, so now how do you pick penny stocks and how do you identify what penny stocks are? Well, like I said earlier, we're looking for items that are between 1 and 10 GP and we may be able to sell those between 10 and 100 GP. As I mentioned earlier, low level seeds are an excellent place to start. There are other items and other item categories, but I would recommend starting with seeds. So we went over to GE Tracker and we're just going to type in seeds in the top here. This will give us a list of every single item that has the word seed in it. From here, we're going to filter down to the highest traded per hour. While we don't necessarily want the most traded per hour, we definitely don't want the least traded. So now we generally have the highest traded seeds and they will actually normally be the cheapest ones as well. So now let's have a look at some seeds that are between 1 and 10 GP. So let's have a look at the Hammerstone seed. So let's go have a look at the graphs down here. The month graph is showing between 1 GP and 5 GP. That's all right. Let's have a look at the day graph. Again, it looks like we could buy them for around 1 GP, maybe sell them for 9 to 10 GP. That's not a terrible flip, so I would actually maybe try that. Now, one thing you also want to have a look at is the GE buying limit. So the buying limit on this is 600, which means we'll buy 600 of them more or less every four hours. So with that in mind, we're only going to buy maximum 4,000 to 5,000 every day, and that would be probably on the high end. I would say probably closer to two or 3,000 would be more likely. So let's have a look at another item here, the tomato seed. So again, we can buy it for 1 GP, but let's have a look at the graph here. Immediately, we know this, this is probably not going to be a good item. The reason for that is the item price does not change much at all. The tomato seed is kind of stuck at 1 GP and you never want to do something that shows a graph like this. While it is nice to buy an item for 1 GP, it's not going to be useful for you if you are not able to sell it. Tomato seeds clearly have way too many coming into the game and not enough people actually planting tomato seeds, so this is not going to be a good item. Now let's have a look at another item, the cactus seed. So initially this item looks a bit too expensive. 36 GP is a little bit more than our 10 GP threshold. However, when we look at the day graph, the price actually dips down extremely low, even below 10 GP. This might be an ideal item to do because look, we could even potentially buy it for 1 or 2 GP some parts of the day and sell it for 100 GP other parts of the day. So I would heavily consider trying the cactus seed. The margin between the buy price and the sell price is absolutely massive and a fair bit of them trade every hour. The one limiting factor here is the G limit is even smaller with only 200 for four hours. However, if you consider that we might get 100 GP in profit almost off of a single flip, that means we could almost get 20,000 guaranteed GP every few hours, which would be extremely good. 
Okay, so now we've hopped over onto the Grand Exchange and we're going to have a look at some of the items that I've been buying. Now before I get started here, if you're going to be waiting a long time or if you're going to be buying a large volume of items, you will need to check on your account at least once every two weeks. The reason for this is after two weeks, I'm pretty sure your offers time out which means you will no longer be buying any more of that item, even if you would have normally. Now, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe all you need to do is actually log into the account. However, if you want to be safe, you may want to take the offer out, put it back in for the same price, and continue on. For the sake of this video, I didn't do that because it makes things more confusing. However, generally, that won't be such a big issue. So I've had these offers in here for around five days, so you can kind of get a general look at how long these offers will take to come through. So we're going to go ahead and pull them out. So for cactus seeds, we got 3,000, so not a ton. However, we bought them for 6 GP each. We bought around 6,600 Yanillion seeds for around 2 GP each. We bought around 6,600 barley seeds for around... Uh, well, 1 GP each. We got almost 5,000 sweet corn seeds for 2 GP each. And we got around 4,000 Guam seeds for 5 GP each. So here is the breakdown of what we bought each item for. So generally when you're flipping, you just do something like this to determine the buy price. Let's have a look at the Yanillion seed here. So we'll just go ahead, crank it up a bit. Uh, it'll instantly buy or not. I don't know if maybe we've hit the buying limit for this hour. Okay, there we go. The Guam seed will work. Uh, so we ended up buying the Guam seed for 12 GP each. And we're going to make sure we just toss one in here. And we're going to dump it in for 1 GP each. And that's how you'd normally determine your buy price. However, generally you want to have a deeper look at the item's prices because that may not reflect exactly the margin that it could have. Since we are buying and selling these items over the course of weeks sometimes, just doing one single margin check may not be enough. So it looks like it sells for around 16 GP each is probably closer to what it would cap out at. When we're looking for the buy price, we're going to be looking at the bottom here for some of the cheapest prices that the item will come through in. Because we are being patient, we have the time to wait for an item to come through at around this price down here. And the same thing goes for selling. We're going to be patient and we're going to get the highest margin that we can. So we're going to try selling the Guam seed for around, let's do 16 GP. So we're going to sell the Guam seed for 16 each. We bought the seeds for 5 GP each and we're going to sell them for 16 GP each, which means we are going to triple our investment. The cactus seed is probably going to be our most profitable flip. We bought them for 6 GP each. We bought 3,000 cactus seeds for only 18k. If we have a look at the cactus seed right now and we go down to the day graph, it looks like we can sell them for around 80 each. If we go down to the week, it looks like it's around the same thing, 80 to 90. Let's go ahead and sell them for 89 each. So we bought them for 20k or 18k I should say. And if we put them in here for 89 each, we're going to sell them for 267k, which means we got over 10 times our money back. So we're going to sell it for 267k, which means we're going to profit about 240k off of that flip. So a really excellent penny stock flip. Next up here, let's have a look at the Yanillion seed. So we ended up buying around 6,600 Yanillion seeds. It says 1 GP each in my offer slot history. However, it was around 2 GP. So we have a look at the day graph here. It's kind of low right now, but generally it goes up to around 50 GP or even up to 70 GP. If we have a look at the week graph, it's kind of a bit back and forth. We're going to try selling it for maybe 50 GP each right now. So we'll go ahead and put the Yanillion seed in for 49 GP, let's say which means we're going to profit like 300k off this. We're going to sell 6k Yanillion seeds for 323k. Next up here, we have the barley seed, which we did buy for exactly 1 GP each. We're not going to get as good a margin on the barley seed, but still very consistent. So we can see here at the day graph, it goes up to around 15 to 20 GP each sometimes. If we have a look at the week, it goes up and down quite a lot. Right now, it seems to be a pretty good price, so we'll go ahead and sell it for maybe 15 GP each we'll try for. So if we sell it for 15 GP each, we're going to get around 100k from that, which means we will have made around 94k off of the barley seed. And last up here, we have the sweet corn seed, which we bought for 2 GP each. Right now, we can sell it for around 15 GP, but more realistically, maybe 10. So we bought the sweet corn seeds for just under 10k, and we're going to pop them in here for... Let's try for 14 GP, which means we will have tripled our money once again. There we go, we are done. So we put an offer in for every single one of our penny stocks. You can really see how powerful this can be for people who really don't have much money. We invested under 100k for all of these items, and we are set to make... 600 700k which is going to be a 700 percent return and like i said earlier these items are very low risk we only risked around 100k which is not a lot considering how much money you could get back on top of that this is extremely afk you only really need to check it every two weeks i only waited five days and i'm gonna make i only waited five days before flipping this however if you waited a month two months three months on an account you could get millions of gp for doing absolutely nothing again there are some drawbacks to this method i would not create a new account membership on it just for the sake 
of flipping penny stocks. It is possible you may profit off the account, but not much, and the risk will be much higher if you have to spend three or four mil on a bond. Anyway, guys, that is it for the video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.